Hi and welcome to the introduction to sketching within SolidWorks 2010. Okay guys, um, right, today we're going to learn about <clears throat> the user interface a bit within SolidWorks because we're all new to it and uh, how we go about sketching and actually creating 3D objects using the extrude tool, uh, the extrude tool, cut tool and lots of other different tools within the sketch ribbon. Uh, this thing up here is called a ribbon so this contains all of our tools that we need in order to create our 3D models and within the features uh, ribbon then we've got all our 3D options for creating 3D objects. Okay so here I've got an example of within SolidWorks basically if I just open up a new document by going file new part I'll go through that in a minute but um, when we first go into a part within SolidWorks we can see that we can uh, it's made up we've got these things called planes and the planes basically are our canvases for starting very starting our creation of our part on um, it's always important to think about how you're going to create the part to start off with so for example if I've got the this example of a bottle which is here. Right, I've positioned it so that, for instance, if they had writing along this front part, then that would be the front. The right plane would be on the side. Top plane could either be on the bottom or the top. Um, this is important to do because when you do, if you just to draw, draw it within uh, free space, not using these, uh, when you bring it into what's called a drawing in SolidWorks, then it won't position properly. But you'll get to understand more about that the more you get to using the program and so on. So just remember that, take that into consideration, start off with, try and get your head around it. It's really important. Okay, so we're going to start off by creating a new part. I can close that down now because we don't need to use it. I will just save that quickly. There we go. Save and I'll just put that on my desktop for now. Okay. Closed and I'll close that new part because I want to start right from the beginning. First of all, we go up to the top here and we select the new key. Okay. So either you could go file new or we can click on what looks like this piece of paper. So we'll click on that and that brings up our new SolidWorks document options. Here again we've got what we discussed in the previous tutorials, we've got parts, assemblies and drawings. Okay, today we're going to start simply by just using parts and then tutorials to come after this we'll discuss more in depth about assemblies and drawings. Um, so okay, now let's press OK. We'll start, select part, press OK and that will bring our SolidWorks user interface up okay right as I talked about a minute ago here we've got our top front and right plane and we can basically create what are called sketches in in these planes and these sketches are then used to uh, to with our with our 3d features up here uh, to create 3d objects so we've got front top right plane okay and we're just simply today going to be extruding different shapes up um, get you more used to how to use SolidWorks and how it works basically. So here we've got our sketch features. So to start off with, as you can see, if I go to sketch right now, I can't sketch. Okay, it, it's asking me, beginning sketching, new entity. The sketch plane will be um, inferred from available planar faces or reference planes. So this basically means we've got to select a plane to draw on first. But the best way to go about doing this is to select a plane and then we get our option right click and we get options up here we get sketch show zoom to selection or normal to we want to simply click on sketch and this will create what's called a new sketch so now if I go to my line tool I can create a sketch freely in there but that's all right uh, to do that I'm just going to delete that so I select it and simply press delete on my keyboard nice and easy to do that okay so now we're in our sketch area we're ready to start creating some shapes to get you used to the sketch tools up here first of all um, I'd like you to just grab the corner rectangle tool and we'll draw just in anywhere in the 
in the space, draw a rectangle, okay? And then, okay, once done this. In SolidWorks, it's really important. We'll be using this tool over and over again. Everything you do in SolidWorks must be smart dimensioned. So this basically is adding dimensions to the part. So therefore, when we go do go to give the parts information drawings to the manufacturer, it's all correct, um, and so on. So if I just show you what, how this tool works, if I click on the Smart Dimensions tool, and then click on one of these straight edges here, you'll see a number comes up, okay, 36.35 millimeters. Um, and that's basically, that's, the, that's simply the length that that is at the moment in the space in solid work. So what I want you to do is just change that to 50, and then we could change that again. We we'll want this to be a square, so 50, 50, 50. And you see that's become overdimensioned now because it's fully dimensioned, so that's fine. Um, what you can do now, if you've accidentally got one of them wrong, you can double click on it and then the dimension will come up again and you can change it. So we can always go back in if we've got something wrong, change it, which is one of the beauties of SolidWorks, okay? So I'm going to change that back in. Just give that a go at changing the dimensions and so forth. Um, some of you at this point might be thinking, well, wait a minute, my um, dimensions aren't actually in millimeters. So there's a simple way, I'll just show you that, how we can change that. So if we go down into, um, where is it, insert, options, sorry, tools, options, okay, up here. So tools, options, and then in options we've got um, the document properties and then we go down to units and we can select in our document properties and units our millimeters, grams and seconds and this is what I always tend to work with within SolidWorks. I mean sometimes it probably you might get parts that are found in each pound second. Make sure you always change them over to millimeters, grams and second because that's what we tend to work with with British standards. Okay. So now I've selected that, that's okay. Okay, we're working in millimeters, great. Um, a couple of other tools that we can use as well. If I select this, there are other options and hold down, just right click. We've got options say to move, rotate, scale, copy, stretch. So if I click on move, I select a point, I can move my object around. So to have a play around with that. Okay, let's go on to drawing some of the other shapes and seeing how they work, and add, adding dimensions to them, and then we can um, move on from there. So I'll draw a circle. So if you just go anywhere, draw a circle, add a dimension of 60 to that, making sure they're not overlapping. Now we draw a rectangle, which is down here. I mean, you've got many types of rectangle to draw. Just use a simple corner rectangle for now. So if I add dimensions here of then 100 and 30. Okay. Okay, so there's, there's our objects. And now the final one. I want to actually, we're going we're gonna to just use this tool up here in order to create a shape that's a bit bespoke okay so if I use the line tool and we just create uh, L or any you can create any shape it's not to worry so if we create like put some jagged edges in okay and then we'll go across like so and down and then say it's got a circular edge here okay right and it goes up to there Right, we'll see what will happen with that um, in a minute because basically what we've got to do now in order when we come to extrude it, we don't want all these parts here. It will mess up the, when we go to extrude. So what we've got to do is use the Trim Entities tool up here and go to, if you select Trim to Closest or Power Trim, let's sit Trim to Closest now and then it will hover over it and the, it will highlight um, lines and we want to get rid of this line here so when it's highlighted left click and this line left click and this line so that basically allow us to extrude this up but notice what happens now 
if I go to exit out the sketch, so uh, exit out the sketch, so that means we're coming out the sketch. If I uh, just remember from the previous lessons, if I hold down on my on my uh, middle mouse scroller, then we can actually rotate the object about. Now we we'll go up to features where my extrude feature is. I'll click on extrude. Okay. Now what it's done is uh, because that sketch was already selected on what's called my feature tree, uh, it will automatically when I open up the extrude feature extrude but look so if I I can add distances to what you're noticing now is wait a minute um, all of them are extruding to the same height so um, what this means is it did tend to draw all my shapes in different sketches so that therefore we can give them different heights okay so that's what we're going to do now as opposed to having them all in the same sketch we're gonna okay draw each individual one in a different sketch okay this is just getting you used to the interface guys so I can click X out of that so if I actually went in now because the sketch isn't highlighted and I went back into extrude feature it ask me which sketches I want to extrude so that's what to remember. You're thinking, okay, well, how do we go back into a sketch and, and edit it? Okay, so if we right click on the sketch, right click, and there's a feature here called Edit Sketch, we'll click on that. Press on the space bar or go up here and click on the Normal 2 button, okay, and that will bring our sketch back into Face Us, basically. Now, what we want to do is we're going to delete some of these, okay, so I want you to just drag over all of this and press the delete button yes to all and we'll delete the circle again because we're going to draw these completely again again more practice you have at just doing this so now we've only got one sketch <laughs> as I say the better you will get so we need practice get good at this okay so again in the top plane we're going to create another sketch in top plane so right click on it click sketch and we're going to create our circle again over here Smart dimension, 60, uh, exit out of that, that's all done now, so we've got two now sketches, um, right top plane, sketch, now we're going to create our um, rectangle, so click on that, smart dimension, click and now we can add our dimensions in here, 100, 30, okay. And now for the final uh, more bespoke one, say we can add the circle in first. You don't have to necessarily, it doesn't matter which way you do it, but if I just add this, we're not going to add dimensions to this, otherwise that will take too long and get a bit tedious. So if I just make some... Kind of, and as we say, we can put angles in there. So I'll do that first. Um, then we we'll go up to the circle, and we'll have the circle maybe in this corner this time. Okay, there. As I say, guys, you can t choose any shape you want, just as long as you're using these tools. Okay, now we're going down to trim entities tool. Trim to closest. Remember, highlights the area that we don't want. Click there. Left click on it to get rid of it. And now we can exit out of the sketch. But I've actually done something wrong where I've created it. And now we've now we've created this, we can exit out of the sketch. So just go up here, exit sketch. And now we're just ready to create our final bespoke shape. So if I go across to top plane again, what do we do? 